Neighborhoods are popping up all across the upstate. And now a community in northern Greenville County is hoping to stop big subdivisions from entering their area so they can preserve their rural way of life. 7 News' Chloe Salsameda tells us about their efforts. Much of Gowansville looks like this. Big open spaces and not much development. The people who live here are trying to preserve that rural character. Rolling hills and plots of farmland make up Gowansville. It's not uncommon to see a horse walking down the road. We want to save our land, we want to save our water, we want to save our animals and our way of life. Comes all the way down here to 11. Virginia McClure is the co-founder of Preserve Gowansville, a group of residents who want to keep large subdivisions out of their community so its rural charm can stay intact. Preserve Gowansville started last October when we all knew in the neighborhood that development was coming and it was coming fast. Gowansville has not been zoned. Over the last month, McClure has been gathering signatures from residents who want to zone the area into an agricultural preservation district. Which is one house per five acres with a mixture of R3 and R1, which is one house per three and one house per one acre, and have our area protected from high density growth. We have to have it continue. McClure and her neighbors hope if they can be part of the zoning process, they will have a say in how their community looks in the future. So far, They've gathered dozens of signatures from residents who own a total of 1,200 acres in Gowansville. In the next month, they hope to take those signatures to Greenville County's planning committee to begin the zoning process. We feel a real sense of urgency to get this moving and get it done. Greenville County Council will have the final say on if Gowansville will be zoned. Council member Joey Russo represents this area. In a statement to 7 News, he says preservation of the lands that make northern Greenville the gem of our state is of the utmost importance. While we're almost completely unzoned in District 17, many are seeing the beneficial aspects of zoning, and I support landowners pursuing avenues to preserve their properties for the future. McClure says she hopes Gowansville is zoned by this time next year. In Gowansville, Chloe Salsameda, 7 News. And Preserve Gowansville plans to have a public meeting in August or September so the community can learn more about their efforts.